Um, my name is Maria Teresa Samson Kadushi. I am the uh, founder of Mobile Afia or Afia Info Company Limited. Um, I wear several hats. Uh, so I am a tech entrepreneur, an innovator, and a founder of yeah, a tech startup. Um, we have been in operation for the past five years, um, since 2016, where we started uh, informally with case studies and then later research. And um, we were lucky to have mentorship of um, a professor after a fellowship that I, I um, was in. So we implemented uh, HCD methodologies, human-centered design, and we had a very long period of iterating and um, testing and designing. And then for from 2018 to 2019, we were prototyping, so testing our MVP. Um, yeah, and in a nutshell, that's our journey. But Mobile Afia is a USSD application that works to provide basic health information in local and native languages. Our goal is to bridge the gap to health information using accessible technology. Our financing and funding journey has been long. As I said, we started back in 2016. So we started with self-funding and I mean, covering our own costs. And then we went to family, friends here and there helping us. Um, I had a friend in the US who did a crowdfunding and raised a bit of money during my research uh, time. But then um, in 2018, we got our first um, serious funding. And this was from a company, a software company in Germany called Freiheit.com. Um, every time I get asked this question, I, I feel that, I mean, it's a bit disappointing that I don't have an inspiration. It, there, there was no inspiration. Um, Mobile Afia started from curiosity. Uh, I, I, I was living in Singida in uh, one of the underdeveloped regions in Tanzania and there was a huge number of street children or children living in adversity. So Mobile Afia is a USSD application and USSD um, is a very old communication protocol. In essence, it's the same technology that we're using for M-Pesa or Tigo Pesa or any M-Wallet service where you dial a short code, you receive a menu and then you go ahead either to transact or to receive further information on text messages. So uh, Mobile Afia works in that same um, way. We have a short code from TCRA. Uh, our short code is star 147 star 47. Outside that has been securing or getting our first 1,000 users. When we hit that mark of 1,000 people using our service, that was really a big achievement. It validated a lot of the work that we did prior to that. I mean, the four years of the work, I mean, when we hit that milestone, that was a big achievement. Um, but also, there are lots of small there is no um, USSD initiative in the in the uh, in the health sector that we are aware of that is done by uh, a private company or that is done independently. Um, there are a few initiatives by the government through Ministry of Health that are have specific uh, topics that uh, I think it's tuberculosis and HIV on the information on tuberculosis and HIV. Um, but when we went to acquire our code from TCRA, they told us that we were the first um, company to come and acquire a code for medical services. My advice to our authorities and our regulators is that they need to be more open-minded. They need to go um, at the same speed that the, uh, I mean, that the the world and also the ecosystem is going. Because what I have noticed um, is that there is um, a lagging when it comes to, um, I mean, um, government authorities or authorities, they're not um, on the same space yet as we are. They don't consider, or maybe they consider, but they don't take tangible actions towards um, openness to innovation. They also